Wayne, it's a 2-1 win, but it's against a team in a lower position in the league, uh, and they've also only won one of our seven games. Was that a below par performance from your position? Uh, yeah, it probably was below par. However, not really fussed about that. Um, these type of nights, um, sometimes it's just about getting the job done. Um, they would have come, um, they have come and given everything, uh, probably given a bit more effort than they might have done against teams of the, the, the same standard. I think they've been really good in terms of their approach to the game. I thought they started brightly. Um, took us 15 minutes to get control of the game and then I think they finished, well, once they got the goal, I think they finished strongly for the remaining 15-20 minutes. But um, for that period in between, I thought we had um, good control of the game. Uh, we've left a couple of we've left a couple of chances out there uh, today for sure, which can um, you know which can kill the game and it becomes becomes different. But, um, but ultimately, I, I'm I'm pleased with my lads. Uh, far from far from a, a, a great performance, but um, again resilient, um, stuck at it. Worked hard. Uh, remember, that's um, a much changed side. Um, three of the back four changed. Uh, midfielder playing at centre half. A couple of uh, you know young lads on the bench because um, we've got five cup tied. Um, you know, so there were reasons for that um, uh, that scratchy performance, if you like. Um, but I'm not I'm not overly worried about that. It's just about getting in the in the heart for the next round. Um, I would anticipate that the Thackler game will be very, very similar. Um, again, you'll have another team that will give everything um, to try and take a little bit of a scalp. Um, you know, if you're the team of a manager from the league below, you you know you you're getting a little bit extra out of your boys, and they're getting them to demanding that work a bit harder. And and um, like I said, credit to Garth. I thought they played. Uh, I thought they played well. Uh, yes, we were below par, but uh, we're in we're in the next round, and that's all that matters. The, the young lads who stepped up today, um, did they impress you with their performances and can we expect them to be jumping up to that first team anytime soon possibly? Um, young Carl, um, when he came on early doors for, for Greavesy, um, I thought he's gone on and quitted himself really, really well. Um, I, the, the biggest thing with the young lads coming into the first team environment is, is um, it can be a bit daunting. Um, and. In fairness to our lads, they've welcomed them in really, really well. Um, it's been relaxed. Uh, we've just asked them to go and play, get a smile on the face, and, and have no fear. And and, uh, and I think they've done that. And I, and I think they've just Carl's um, shown glimpses, glimpses of being uh, um, or having good potential. Um, in terms of going forward, whether whether we might see them in the squads again, potentially. You know, it, it certainly doesn't hurt to um, to have them around. Um, if we get stretched with injuries or suspensions or whatever, we've not got the biggest of squads, so it's it's quite feasible that you might see one or two of them um, again in in future squads. But um, I think I think that's a plus point from tonight. Uh, the, the, certainly, Carl and Aidan when he went on, um, the best thing you can say about them is they didn't look massively out of place. Um, you know, so credit to them, uh, but also credit to our boys for for making it easy for them to come into that environment. Absolutely. Um, Chris Chandler and Annie Monkhouse have recently left the club as playing roles. Um, obviously that leaves space in the wage budget. Is there any changes that you're anticipating to be made in the next couple of weeks? Um, I'm not sure. We're working on a couple of things. Um, whether whether we can get them over the line, I, I'm not quite sure. Um, Andy and Chris go with our best wishes. Um, two good lads from, from the very brief period I've known them. Um, it wasn't necessarily a, um, a decision based on football ability. Um, we have to work to a budget like all clubs and um, we had got to a stage where it was just getting um, a little bit um, over where we needed it to be and unfortunately we had to make some tough calls um, and, and that's football um, and, and both lads took it in, in um, the right spirit. Um, well, I made it absolutely clear that it wasn't personal and it wasn't necessarily based on football ability. Um, but we have to. Um, we inherited a, a squad. We allowed that squad to show us what they were about for four or five weeks before we made the changes, uh, and we felt so that we could bring in our own players to fit how we want to do things and 
and, and obviously keep a um, keep a, a close eye on on, on, on budget aspects. That um, we had to make a couple of a couple of tough decisions, um, and it's never easy, but it's part of the job, and um, it's something that you have to it's something that you have to do. Unfortunately, fully aware that um, Andy and Chris would probably be uh, popular players around the place. Uh, fully um, expect that that might have led to a few questions from supporters as to as to why it had happened. Um, all I can ask is that trust us and uh, and and um, allow us to do what uh, what we think is best in terms of building the squad that we want to uh, that we want to have um, going forward. Um, as I said, you know, I've explained I've explained the reasons really <clears throat> we're non-football related. Um, take from that really what 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 you will. But um, there's been nothing untoward happening behind the scenes. There is no budget cuts um, if there's any rumours of that because there isn't. Um, it, we just had to get things back in line, and um, and we wanted to create um, space to, to to also bring in um, a few players as well. And your Brodie Lichfields and um, Andy McManuses and your Jack Egan's and people like that. Obviously, that's what that's allowed us to do. Um, so I'm happy with I'm happy with where the squad's at. There still might be one or two uh, bits of movement um, in and out possibly. Um, but it's starting to settle down now. I'm I'm comfortable with what we're working with. Um, in an ideal world, I'd like a, a, a body or two more. I still think we're a very very short and sm sorry a very small squad. But um, again, we'll just we'll just see how that goes. Um, but um, but yeah, I'm happy for now with with where things are. Well, just a quick um, test: Is Tom okay? Or he obviously scored the goal, but he came off. Early in the first half, yeah, uh, precautionary. Hopefully, um, I think he just felt his hamstring um, a tweak slightly. Um, I, I think he's had a again. He's had a heavy schedule. Um, we we've, we've been very reliant on Tom. Um, in an ideal world, if I'd have had the options, these are the type of games where you give him a breather. I as we did in the um, in the Big House Cup game. Um, you know. He's thirty four. Nobody's saying he's, he's he's old and needs protecting, but uh, equally he, he's you know he's carrying the burden of scoring most of our goals. Um, he's played pretty much most most games and every minute of each game, and um, I think it's probably a little bit of tiredness. Uh, to be honest, we're playing on heavy pitches as well, which doesn't help. So just precautionary. Hopefully he'll be okay for Saturday. Well, uh, we're Nicola. I'm sure he'll assess him and. Um, and feed that back in the next couple of days, but uh, but yeah, hopefully that was just um, a sensible thing to do. Excellent. We we'll go again on Saturday. Top